Now, moving across to gold, and I will point out a few factors here on gold. Now, first of all, gold, we've been breaking down over the last week. Again, as we mentioned last week on the um, weekly report, is that you wanted to have gold euro on your radar. If you're shorting or if you're going long gold against the US dollar, make sure that you're aware of what gold versus the euro is doing because gold versus the euro gave us the signal to sell gold versus the US dollar early. In fact, we shorted both, but gold versus the US dollar uh, was also quite lucrative alongside gold euro so gold euro last week in fact into the close on friday it closed back below the 21 day moving average closed back below a couple of days of lows here and you can see here this was our point at which we could see confirmation to go for a short overall breaking down came back up to the upper end of the trend channel over the course of this week we've seen lower highs lower lows broke through the 200 day moving average moving average on Tuesday and we've subsequently broken through the 50 MA today looks like we're coming back to revisit the lower end of this trend channel as well so whilst the overall sentiment is remaining bearish on gold versus the euro it's also having a similar impact on gold versus the US dollar these two track each other very closely whenever there is a, a disparity between gold euro and gold US dollar which is what we had into the Friday close last week is typically gold versus the euro which is actually showing us the true direction where gold versus the US dollar will be heading next as such we took a sell short into the close on Friday and there was an opportunity to enter that on Monday as well at 1235 here where we got a break and a close below this supportive trend channel and even though it was a hammer into the close by the way we still uh, had enough confirmation to go for a sell short and we sold into that 1235 over the course of this week we come back down hit overall support here the monthly pivot some key moving averages and also the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level hit our profit target on gold versus the US dollar here as well now right now this is quite a key level so if gold cannot get back above this level of resistance so essentially if gold can't close back above 1209 to 1210 today it does definitely open the door up for lower prices because there's a lot of clean air now for clean air for gold to break down lower overall i'm bearish on gold short term right now i'm looking for lower prices i would suspect that especially given uh, the overall price structure of the us dollar over the last week is just retraced back towards yesterday's low here but we'll see if this continues to follow through or if it just gets bid back into the close it has found in fact the us dollar overhead resistance at the 102 zone which is quite important for it to be able to breach and break higher above that level in order to create more short-term momentum for gold silver platinum for example in its inverse correlation US dollar strength would create weakness in gold silver platinum but right now the way gold is looking where it's closed below quite a major level here it really does open the door up for it to come back down towards the 1185 swing low I'd look for initial support around the well 1200 might provide some support because it's a psychological round number below that I'd look for a revisit of approximately 1193 which is the 50 percent Fibonacci level from the swing low depends where you're drawing your levels you could draw it on the closes or you could draw it on the swing low if you look at it at the closes it's basically 1195 around that level would be the next supportive layer and then below that I'd look for a revisit of 1185 taking us down to the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level so overall I'm 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 biased for gold to break down here from a risk to reward perspective, ideally you would have got into gold earlier on during this move, getting into it right now uh, in terms of where you put your stop loss or where you put your, your your take profit. It depends on your strategy on this, whether you're trading intraday or swing trading at the moment. But essentially, I am looking for this momentum to continue, especially given so far today, it looks like gold is not going to have the legs to get a break above the overhead resistance at 1210. So I would expect a slow and steady move and move back towards the 1190 zone and then coming back to 1185 swing low. That's what I'm looking at short term. The wild card as we go into next week, which could be a turning point for gold and also silver, which we'll have a look at next, will of course be the FOMC statement. We've also got non-farm payrolls coming out tomorrow as well. So you need to be a little bit careful of that volatility. The ADP numbers which came in yesterday were the best in years. And as a result, the US dollar spiked, gold broke down, managed to break below support at 1209, which has led to the close yesterday. And now as we go into next week, a lot of specula a lot of eyes will be on tomorrow's non-farm payroll numbers as to whether they come in also well over expectations. Because if that happens, it of course puts the Fed in a stronger position to go ahead and increase interest rates on next week's FOMC statement. So we'll be watching that very 
carefully indeed to see what uh, what is the result of the non-farm payrolls tomorrow, what the Fed does next week. We've got the, de- the Dutch elections next week as well on Wednesday. So we're due some volatility. And I would look at next week as either an acceleration point for gold here to continue to break down or a turning point. So I would expect the Fed next week, their action to either cause gold to continue this this slide downwards or of course if they don't go ahead and increase interest rates that could be a turning point here for gold as well where we see the next leg up and it gets supported it just depends where gold is sitting prior to the fomc statement next wednesday so we've got today's session where i would expect overall momentum and sentiment uh, on gold to go down i'd be targeting at least about 100 points lower today on gold I would expect a revisit of 1200, if not 1195 over the course of the US session today. Then as we go into tomorrow's session, we'll see what impact non-farm payroll does. If non-farm payroll comes in way above expectation and the US dollar flies to the upside, we could see gold again push lower there, have another retest back down to 1185, 1190 to 1185. And then we see where gold is settling as we go into next week. I think at the moment, my bias is for the downside on gold. I'm looking for lower prices at the moment.